Hey, how you doing? I just wanted to talk a little bit about my experience with the Harley Benton RB414 uh, copy of the Rickenbacker bass. Um, and, um, you know, I can't afford to go out and buy uh, an expensive bass. I, I'm blessed to have some guitars. But uh, for what I've, you know, want to do, uh, this instrument covers all that uh, for me very well. Um, and, you know, I guess like a lot of these uh, uh, lower price instruments, you, you know, you got to go through some things that, uh, uh, you know, might feel a little bit uncomfortable to you, but they're not really, you, you know, beyond your efforts. And, you know, a lot of times you find on these expensive manufacturers, too, that you need to go through and you know, certainly on basses, adjusting that neck, there's an awful lot of string tension that's generated by these big, heavy, fat strings. Um, the, uh, the saddle assembly on this instrument um, is poor quality. It's, it's anchored to the body here by two screws, and yet the, the string ends, the ball ends, are out here uh, on the flexible body of this lightweight metal, and they're kind of flapping a little bit under that string vibration. Uh, so we're losing some tone there down through into the body. And, and I understand that's a little bit of an issue of the design with the uh, actual, you know, big Rickenbacker 4003, I think is the name of them, and 4013 is, I believe, the models. Um, and a lot of the, the celebrated um, uh, players of, of those instruments uh, had their guitars heavily modified. Uh, um, Chris Squire, you know, certainly comes to mind. And, uh, you know, um, Getty Lee, one of my favorites. Uh, but uh, as I said, it seems to cover, you know, most of the sound range that I want to get. It's a bit of a big monster, you know, um, and it's not my primary instrument. Um, but, you know, when we need to have a bass around and, and, you know, cover, we want to cover that kind of heavy ground shaking Rickenbacker tone, this gets close to it, you know, and with different effects and things, we can tweak it and get it to where it's close enough to uh, see. So, um, big thumbs up from me on these. I'm going to eventually replace the saddle assembly. There's one out there, but that's about a $300 expense. And, you know, right now the money, you know, it seems to go in different directions, I think. So we'll see how that goes. But, uh, you know, very fond of it. Um, I've adorned it psychedelic, like tonight's uh, Paul McCartney's bass from the, you know, wonderful 60s, and the walrus tunes and all those videos but uh, if you look in, in the get back video you also will see him struggling with his Reckenbacher bass uh, playing with the saddle with one of the engineers and he ends up going back to his uh, Hoffner so <laughs> which I've also got a nice cheap copy of that and you know I'm covered for bass tones between the two under $300 um, I believe you know if you're lucky and get a decent uh, Rickenbacker base uh, 4003 uh, model uh, without the stereo hookup. You know, this isn't stereo. Uh, the lowest you're going to come in is going to be about $1,500, which is uh, at the expense. So um, well satisfied here from Harley Benton. RB414.